So, yes. Majina yako kamili ni nani kwanza? Ah, uh, mimi naitwa Lawrence. Mhm. Uh-huh. Jigo na Wagura. Okay? Yeah. Mhm. Uh-huh. Mm. Kazi unaofanya ni DJ. Ah, uh, nilikuwa nafanya DJ. Mhm. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, then nikaacha nikaingia kwa uh, uimbaji wa Mogidi uh-huh. as in wa muziki kazi. Yes. Yeah. Mhm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Kwa hivyo wewe mwana muziki you know you know DJ. Once a DJ always a DJ. Okay. But, uh, Once a doctor always a doctor. Yeah. Okay. But a naimba. Okay. Yeah. DJ Fatso. Yes. Nimekuita leo mm. kwa sababu kumekuwa na story fulani mm. uh, kwamba uliweza kuhusika katika mauaji ya Jeff Mwathi mm. kijana wa miaka 23 mm. na maswali mengi yameweza kuibuka. Mm. Watu wengi wakisema kwamba tunataka kujua kweli mm. uliendaje kulifanyika aje. Mm. Ya yeah. Na wewe ni mshukiwa mkuu katika mm. mauaji haya ya Jeff Mwathi. Mm. Swali moja tu. <clears throat> Ilikuwaaje? Uh, kwanza ni uh, watu huenda ikuwe wananishuku. Lakini mimi mwenyewe sijishuku manake mimi siiziwa na sikuhusika kwa kumuua Jeff manake Jeff alikuwa rafiki yangu na sioni sababu yangu mimi ningemuua kwa nini na ni kijana mdogo pia mwenye hana ubaya na mtu yeyote. So uh, naanza toka kwenye uh, siku ilifika. Ilikuwa Uli, kwanza kwanza kabisa ulimjua vipi Jeff? Mlijua naje? Jeff hapo mwaka wa 2020 2021. Uh, nilikuwa one year in the industry ya kuimba mugidi sasa. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa time nimepick zaidi Uh, alikuwa na shop pale mahali pana ito Jifiche Grill. Uh, kuna kuna shop inakwanga hapo kando ya viatu. So mimi napenda napenda mambo na fashion sana. So nilienda hapo kununuanga viatu na nilikuwa napata msichana alikuwa anaitwa Faith Mutano. Faith yeye ndo mwenye alikuwa amepewa kazi na Jeff. Mimi nikinunua viatu hapo siku jo hapo ni kwa Jeff. Mimi nilijua naenda kununua kwa feed juu kila wakati mimi nampata feed mm-hmm. hapo nimenunua viatu mingi viatu zime zidi hata la uh, teme karibu laki moja manake mi nilikuwa nanunua kila wakati sasa siku moja uh, nikashtukia kijana amekuja Jeff alikuwa kijana mdogo sana mm-hmm. uh, amekuja ameingia amenipata hapo eh, nikibagain ama nikichukua kiatu akafurahi sana kanibe DJ Fatso e eh, nimefurahi sana unani promoting na ambi yango sasa unaona ameleta angle nyingine unani promoting um, like AJ na sikujui so akaniambia eh hapa ni kwangu mimi ndo nakuwa nimecharafe hii kazi nasikia so hapo ndo penye mimi nikajilia hivyo haya kando na hivyo siku acha kuwa customer pale hiyo siku yenye ya kwanza tu yangu kwenda hapo alipiga picha na mimi kuna picha ilikuwa ina circulate nikiwa nimeshika kiatu na yeye akapiga picha na mimi ni kawaida ya mashabiki kupiga picha na sisi Hai so mimi sikukata akapiga picha na mimi na hapo hapo akaniambia uh, by the way Samido ni yanko yangu uh, Samido ni mwanamuziki mwenye tunaimba naye anajulikana yes so uh, akaniambia Samido ni yanko yangu na mnaimbanga na yeye mwingine unasikia mm-hmm. uh, mimi nika nikatupilia mbali juu okay sikuwa na tutaongea nini nyingine tushaongea amepiga picha ameridhika ni hivyo basi okay. haya kilichofuata i think alinipata tena mara nyingine Nasem ilikuwa trend yake. Akiniona uh, hata ikuwa ni wema sawa huko uko na shop ama uko na duka lako na mimi nikuje kununua na niko na jina utapiga picha na mimi kila wakati ili upost uonyeshane shop yako inakuja watu wenye pia wenye ili uweze kuvutia customers wengine. Kanipata. Ha okay. uh, so uh, when alinipata siku nyingine akaniambia uh, by the way Fatso ukiwa itaka kuweka shop yote ya, vi, ya biatu hii ni mimi nime design nisikia mhm hii ni mimi nimedesign unaweza nipea kazi na unaona venye kako simple and i really loved it juu kwa inaka vizuri haya tukanyamaziana na Jeff in fact i didn't have Jeff's number sikuwa na namba ya Jeff namba ya Jeff nimehitaji sasa 20 tuko 2023 ya nimehitaji 2023 why? January why mwanake uh, kuna kitu umesikia aliniambia ukiwahi taka kuweka shop Uh, utaniambia nikutengeneze mm-hmm. mimi mimi naweza unda je mimi nilijitengeneze hapa sasa uh, Mungu amenibariki amenipea pesa kidogo nimeona naweza anzisha kabiashara ili at least niko na DJ school pale ivo 
uh, Ziptec University. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wanted to move the DJ school because it was not doing well. Hapo nje Ziptec University. Hapo panahitaji, nika wanapanahitaji, juu wanafunzi wanapita wengi sana, panahitaji nieke kitu ina move, nieke viatu, na nieke maybe dresses za wasichana. Mm -hmm. Na ayo kuna mahali nikuwa nisha pata hall kubwa sana. Hapo mahali panahitoka Marquis Bypass. Karibu na Greenspot Gardens. Nimepata hall ata saizi hiko ni yangu. Uh, it's a very big hall. So I wanted to move the DJ school. Itoke pale Zitek University. Nipeleke pale hivo. Ikue music school. Sasa office yangu ikue hapo. Na nieke studio na hivo niendele. Sasa the only person I had in mind. Uh, allow me say this Masawe. If you've never had an idea of owning a joint or else a shop. Si expect to kuna join interior designers wengi. So akili yangu ilifikiria nani? Jeff tu. Manake ata ile shop yenye nataka kuweka pale ya nguo ya, ya nguo na viatu nikakumbuka yeye yeah, alikuwa amenembea na isafanya hivyo. Okay. So I decided that I'll engage him. So whom did I ask for the number ya Jeff? Nilipigia Faith Motan. Yule tu mwenye alikuwa amepewa kazi na Jeff a uh, kitambo kumbe kulienda hivi na hivi a uh, Jeff shop yake kaanguka. Kumbuka ile wakati 2020s ni wakati covid imeingia 2021 so alifunga shop. So after amefunga sasa Faith ndio mwenye ni Faith aliendelea na kuuza viatu. In fact Jeff after amefunga biashara zake uh, nilikuja kujua baadaye sasa baada hizi vitu zote alifunga akaambiwa arudi shule. So even about this thing yenye imekuwa ikiendelea uh, sasa anaitanishwa na the interior designer. Okay. So mlipatana mkaanza kuwa marafiki, alikufanyia kazi kipindi hichi? Hakunifanyia kazi. Okay. Hakunifanyia kazi. So hakuwahi kukutengenezea duka lako? No. Okay. So baada hapo urafiki wenu ulikuwa karibu? Ah, uh, hapana. Okay. Au kwa urafiki wa karibu, urafiki wetu ulikuwa urafiki wa tukipatana wapi nikienda kununua viatu kwake toka 2021 akina show you kutoka 2021 toka ninunue viatu kwake toka afunge sababu ilifika time akafunga mm -hmm. the person who been selling shoes to me is Fred Motano okay so jeff alikuja aje kwa nyumba yako ah uh, sasa hapo ndo mzungumziali hapo ndo tunaelekea hatuko okay. tunaongea sasa january mm -hmm. ndio hii january imefika mimi nataka kuweka shop nimeitisha Fred namba ya jeff amenipatia namba ya jeff Nimeongea na Jeff nimemwambia kuna shop na ngoja zitengeneze zina renovatiwa uh, acha zikimalizika nitakwambia ndio kuje nitengeneze. Unanisikia? Haya, but unaona already anajua anajua ile DJ school yangu ya ya Ruiru hiyo anajua. Mm. Haya, so what happened is ikafika siku it was on Tuesday. Mimi nimeenda kuangalia mahali niko na ka, na shares kidogo za Wines and Spirit Ruiru. Uh, kwenda kuangalia na post kuna ka, kuna kafani meme kalikuwa kana kana trend ka kijana a, a very small boy analia then anacheka maybe umepiti yeah. umepatana nayo mm. nikaiweka kwa status yangu after nimeweka kwa status sasa hiyo ni kitu saa nane na dakika maybe thati hivyo niko hapo rilu hapo penye nimekombe kwa hiyo lika lika store nimeenda kuangalia penye nitamsha kazi manake kuja kuwa na kazi haileti pesa mm -hmm. sasa niko hapo ni, niko na jamaa anaitwa Kenodia Kenodia is a manager to a certain artist tunaimba naye anaitwa Kamoko so after i posted that thing uh, i am not the one who engaged Jeff si mimi niliongelesha Jeff Jeff alichekea nini? Alicheka kwa ile status yangu venye tunaekanga status. So, he is the one mwenye li, alicheka. So, mimi hata simi mwenye nilimtafuta. So, after amecheka kwa ile status yangu, ikaniring kwa akili yangu, by the way jana nililipa ile nyumba juu imemalizika, ile nyumba pale ilipo Green Spot, ile yenye nakwambia niko nipeleke music school. Nililipa, I think na is engage ukijana juu aliniambia. So, kwa text after nilichukua namba yake kwa figmo tano, there is a text yenye inaonyeshana ati nilihama Roisambo sikuizi niko Kimbo so ukitaka tupatane please niambie mapema ili ni ili nikuje ili niweze kutoka Kimbo nikuje mm -hmm. haya sasa nikajua mimi niko Ruiru si ndio hapa ni Kimbo Jeff ako Kimbo Ruiru na Kimbo ni karibu sana so venye alicheka kwa status yangu nikakumbuka nililipa shop jana nikamwambia hata si kucheka nilimuuliza hey bro uko ili akuje sasa tuzungumze sasa biashara akakuja After amekuja, alikuja in like, call it 
30 30 minutes hivyo ah uh, mimi na mimi niko hapa naongea na kujam huyu jamaa ni event organizer wa outdoor event huyu kenodia mwenye nimekwambia okay. sasa tuko na yeye hapa uh, sababu nataka hiyo hiyo wine spirit kwa mahali rooftop nataka aniamshie nataka nipate strategies za mimi tutainua so jeff akafika akatupata mimi na kenodia alitupata mimi tunakunya that is the first club nataka nikupeleke through kwa hizo club nne zenye inasemekana anga jeff amekuja amenipata na kunywa maji na na kunywa red bull kenodia na kunywa maji na na kunywa soda jeff akakuja akaitisha soda after amefika hivi unaona sasa bado naendelea na conversation na nani na Kenodia jinsi jamaliza so siezi engage kwa hii ingine kwanza na huyu nimemuita akuje ndio tuongelee biashara yangu ya hapa tukia tu hapo nikapigiwa simu na jamaa anaitwa Adam Opao Adam Opao is one of the uh, maybe a PA to Churchill live ya yeah? uh, akaniambia we the fact so tunataka kukubook show uh, hapa Shaki Gardens ya Ruiru eh chachi linakuja kuleta show hapo nikamwambia anataka tuongee bei sasa na everything kwa simu kaambia haina haja tufanye hivyo acha nikuje jumii niko ruiru pia so tukatoka na hawa nikaambia by the way junaona natafuta pesa za kuweka hii hizi shop zote lazima kwanza nikimbie nichukue hii pesa unanipata masaa so nika nikamal ikabidi nitamatishe hii mkutano yangu na Kenodia na mkutano yangu na Jeff twende kwa gari i drive them Kenodia in front, Jeff behind. Unanipata? Okay. Tukaenda Ashaki Gardens. So, one nataka uelewe hakuna kitu yote yenye tumeongea na Jeff so far. Toka afike, mimi nilikuwa naongea na Kenodia. Mm-hmm. After amefika dakika kama kumi, mm-hmm. hata maji nakumbuka ilibidi tumebeba na Red Bull yangu hata sikumaliza, mm-hmm. ilibidi nimebeba sababu nimeitwa na ninataka pesa sana. I want to make that money juu kuna biashara nafani ifungue na najuzi itanikula pesa mingi. Ndio sisi tukaenda Ashaki Gardens. Really nikaambia Jeff after tumefika hapo we Jeff juna ile shop ya Zitek ile DJ school omba karatasi na pen kwa waitress kaa pale kwa pila andikanga ni nini zenye zinahitajika materials zenye zinahitajika ndo tununue nini tununue tujenge hiyo shop juu hiyo anaijua ile ingine haijui ile ya green spot hiyo ndio yenye nilifaa kumpeleka hiyo ni sasa haya akabaki hapo then nikaambia Kenodia this guy mwenye nimekomea ni event organizer na ni manager wa Kamoko you know acting as my manager jumani wangu hayuko karibu ili twende tuweze kuitisha pesa mingi wapi hapa so yeye yeah, tuli proceed na yeye kwa mkutano tukaacha Jeff wapi hapo ah uh, nika strike hiyo deal na nikapewa hiyo show uh, na dakika kama 45 ama 1 au ikienda sana hapo saizi kama tunavizungumza nataka uone ni kitu 4 4:30 hapo hivyo haya nilikuwa natoka nilikuwa nafaa kupatana na mtu anaitwa Waida Kawaje. He is a Mogidi artist. Tunaimba na yeye. I was supposed to meet him because we had a show in Narok, me and him, a joint show, na ni sisi tunajilipishia. So, we had to meet and do a promo for the show ndio tuweze kupata traction ya watu. Where were we supposed to meet? Alifa ni part of Blizz Bistro, but sasa nimeitwa Ashaki niende nika strike deal na nikaenda. So, yeye akaniambia kwa Tattoo City we are talking about is the za Dika Road sasa so akaniambia tupatane jioni kwa Tattoo City tupatane mahali panaitwa Destiny Gardens the Destiny Gardens ni mahali kwa watoto kwa kucheza but kuna club pia hapo ndiyo club ya tatu inakuja unaiona jioni ya kwanza yenye nilikuwa Blitz Bistro Ashaki then kuna Destiny Gardens kwa hizi zote nataka uelewe vizuri hakuna mahali popote penye nimekunywa mimi si mimi mimi kunywa pombe but sikunywi pombe mchana pombe ni ni kitu yenyewe naweza sema unakunywa ku socialize na watu na kazi zetu mingi tumezipatanga kwa pombe maana yake si kuingia walevi mara mingi wanipata so this is the third joint yenye tumeenda destiny gardens hakuna mtoto amekunywa pombe hata hapo all of them can attest nilitisha maji ashaki tukifika nilikunywa maji tukienda destiny gardens nikaitisha maji jeff akaitisha soda kenodi akaitisha maji wanisikia tuka record ile promo yetu and then tuka proceed sasa hii masaa nataka uone masaa isha songa masawe kweli kweli na bado mimi na Jeff hatujaongea kitu yoyote yenye ilituleta pamoja first one mm-hmm. but asha andika zile vitu tukaenda tukafika mahali panaitwa Ruisambu hapo naenda kuchukua delivery nilikuwa nachukua but Jeff was insisting 
yule msichana mwenye alitu connect na yeye mwenye alifanya ni mjueje huyu faith mutano sasa wani scare mm-hmm. aliko ana insist anataka sana faith kuwe na sisi eh, ili kae ni shukrani kae ikae haha piti chini na ni ali connect kwa hii kazi na mimi. Mm. Wanipata. Mm. So he kept on calling Faith and I was like, okay, just call her, it's okay. Acha akuje. Unaona mimi sina sina ubaya na yeye kuita mtani. And then all along what I want to know is that Jeff was recording a uh, voice notes, but before he started doing that, hakuanza na video, alianza na voice notes. Ah, uh, akaniambia nitakuwa na update mama ya penye tunaenda and I was like it's okay so nasikia ameambia mom eh hey, mom sasa tumetoka na fatso hapa hivi ashaki gardens kuna show alikuwa anapewa kwa ya chachir sasa tumekuwa na master wengine hapo wa mogidi he was a very happy guy a happy soul mm. unaniona uh, so i'm going to tell you this sisi taka wakati wafikiria ndio ile siku ikaja ikapelekea kifo chake ndio hiyo okay ndio hiyo siku okay. sasa he didn't even get to do this job he had not done any job for me. Okay. Aya. Can I Tobi. continue the story? Yes, because, because uh if I miss anything here, uh naona aita kwa venye inafa. Mm-hmm. So, ndio mimi huyu. Jeff alikuwa na update mamake kuhusu kila mahali penye tunaenda. So, I even felt I felt so good kuona sijai patana na mtu mwingine mwenye anakaa mimi. Mimi na mamangu tuko hivi sababu mimi nimezaliwa peke yangu. Mamangu hata nikiamka kila wakati. Haya mimi hata nikiwa show nikianza show na anajua vizuri na anzanga show saa sita usiku, uh, utashtukia mamangu ananipigia hata nikiwa stage. This is my peer. Utashtukia anakuja ananionyesha mama anapiga, anaenda anachukua na mwambia bado hajamaliza show. I am very close na mamangu. Sasa venye niliona kijana mwenye pia ako ako close na mamake hivyo, uh, ili nifanya nione Ah uh, nili nilipata passion na yeye unapata passion na mtu juu hata yako close na mamake ana update kila move sasa tumepita Ruisambu Faid Mutano alikuwa amesema atakuwa Ruisambu by saa moja haku amefika sasa giza isha anza kuingia unanisikia ah uh, haku amefika tukamwambia uh, pole tukamwambia wewe uta uta utatupata kwa shop hapo penye tunaenda naenda kuonyesha Jeff shop sasa tutapata hapo manake hatutashinda hapa tumekungoja ndio sisi hawa tukachukua njia tukienda wapi tukienda Ruiru sasa tumetoka Ruisambu Faith anaishi Ruisambu hapo karibu na Park University ah tukaenda Ruiru sasa tukienda Ruiru ah kuna huyu madam wa US alikuwa anakuja Kenya anaitwa Sue Kashambi she is popular for her job uh-huh. she was coming to Kenya na alikuwa ameniambia fatso Eh so ni organize shows kama tatu hivyo tuone kama tutatengeneza pesa. So I was supposed to meet with a guy out the owner of whiskey, one of the owners of Whiskey River. His name is Douglas Ndego. I was supposed to meet with him yeah. Ndiyo juye ni event organizer. Ndiyo tupange shows za nani za Suga Shambi. So when I was making the call to Douglas Ndego, Jeff Hart of course, eh Dagi akaniambia uh, niko hapa Lika store hapa kwa jemu hapo ni Rejoice karibu na opposite theater mall niko hapo hivyo eh utanipata hapa mimi hata ni Hennes na kunywa yeye nikamwambia Hennes na mimi ndio nimekavia kunywa pombe si wacha nitakuja tupige sherehe unanisikia so Jeff had me talk to Douglas kwa simu so the next thing all along Jeff was so happy ananiambia aki mimi hata naweza taka kushindanga na wewe naweza taka kukaanga na wewe hii maisha yako yani and I really understood him because I was once there when I had known him after mimi nilikuwa na hang on nilikuwa napenda celebrities sana so this guy na yeye naona ako na ile passion na mimi na ana enjoy hata company yangu so hakuna venye ningemkataza akani beg please acha twende na wewe hiyo sherehe yenu naenda after tumetoka show tumetoka kuona shop akaniambia by the way to Peter pale hivyo wa Cairo wa Cairo ni ile KU the branch achana na main campus ile kiu nyingine niko pale kabla kimbo kana ndio tupite hapo hata nichukue nichukue demu yangu fulani unanisikia nikamwambia it's okay sawa tukaenda tukaingilia kimbo tukasimama hapo wakairu akachukua msichana fulani wakaka na nyuma unaona mimi niko na kenodhia wapi niko na kenodhia hapa then tukakuja tukaingilia riru tukaenda green spot 
Uh, tukapata yule kiateka hiyo nyumba ni kutoka anatoka nikamwambia huyu stoke e, nimekuja na interior designer wa hii shop na shop zingine zangu so si umfungulie tu ndo waone ndo ajieni nini na nini inahitajika kesho tushinde tukinunua materials ndio tuanze kujenga wanisikia haya tukaona na tuka view hiyo mahali kisha tukatoka sasa tukitoka tunarudi ili twende eh, Rejoice nipatane na Douglas ndo tuongee ile biashara yenye tunaongea nikikunywanga ile Hennessy yenye ameniambia anakunywa wanisikia masani sawa so, what i did is uh, nikaenda uh, Ruisambu is where we picked Faith Mutano asha toka town kufanya delivery zake and everything. So after walifunga shop na Jeff, yeye yeah, yeah, ananunuanga viatu kama mkonji, anafanya deliveries kila mahali. Na nisikia? Haya, tukamchukua. Sasa akaingia hapo nyuma, so ikakuwa ni Jeff, yule dem yake na Faith. Wako wapi? Wako hapo nyuma. Tukaenda Likasto Ridges. Kufika Likasto hapo ndo pini nili onja pombe. The first time eh, kwa kwa hiyo siku ilikuwa around ilikuwa around uh, call it 8:30 or 9 kitu kama hiyo kama naweza kumbuka vizuri haya tukaona hapa hivi after tumeka sasa after tumefika mimi nimeenda kaa nimekaa penye dagi yako Jeff in fact meza ilivutwa ingine juu tumeingia tukiwa group kubwa ya watu tano so imebidi meza ivutwe ndio tuweze kutoshare group ya watu tano na maanisha mimi Kenobi hapa mbele feed mtano nyuma Jeff na msichana Wanisikia? So, the sitting arrangement was like mimi nimekaa hapa. Faith alikaa hapa na, na Douglas. Douglas ako hapo mwenye nimeenda kuona. Uh, kuna jamaa anaitwa James Wong. Huyo ni mwenye hiyo Likasto na sasa hao wengine. Hii meza ilivuta. Jeff alikaa hata hapa pale. Alikaa pale wakakaa na Kenodia, the girlfriend hapa na jamaa kwa kando yangu anaitwa Karis hapa. So, ikafika time tukaambiana eh tunafaa twende tuka support DJ Mo DJ Mo huyu wa Red twende tuka support Kwiva manake eh, Hennessy hapa hapa zimeisha unasikia uh-huh. Hennessy zimeisha hapa hivi uh, tukaambia na twende Kwiva so tukienda Kwiva this is a bit yenye nataka uisikie vizuri sana tukienda Kwiva uh, tukaingia kwa gari yangu I was the one who was driving. Yule msichana mwenye tulichukua kwa Cairo, kwa university. Mwenye Jeff alikuwa anasema ni msichana wake. Alibebwa na mwanaume mwingine tofauti. Kanya nilikuwa nimekaa. Sasa ngapi sasa hiyo? Sasa hiyo ni kitu saa saa tano inaelekea. Uh-huh. Saa sa 4 na madakika huko uh-huh. 40 okay. saa 5 inaelekea. Uh-huh. Kim, there, there was a guy not Kim, Karis is the guy who seated right next to me then just just girlfriend uh then Jeff then Kenobi there so huyu jamaa alikuwa kando yangu uh sijui ama ni mchezo ama ilikuwa ushazungumza unaona mimi sikuwa napatia attention juu attention yangu iko kwa Douglas yeye ndo mwenye nimekuja kuona na kwanza tuongee kile tunaongea sasa what happened is Karisa aliambia alisema uh-huh. eh, we acha kushinda ukiingia hizi gari nini uh-huh. acha kushinda ukiingia hizi gari kidogo kidogo we ingia we ingia tukubebe unanisikia uh-huh. so ingia ni kubebe so demwa Jeff alibebwa na gari ya Karisa tukienda kuiva na nipata uh-huh. so mimi tumeenda kwa gari yangu mimi tena dia mbele Faith Mutano nyuma na Jeff uh-huh. but now the girlfriend amebebwa na gari nyingine hapa Prado unanipata mhm uh-huh tukafika kuiva sasa tunaelekea kuiva sasa tushambia na tunaenda shereni kambi ya feed huyo feed jo alikuwa anasema kuna cousins wake wako kwa nyumba aina haja hata wakae kwa nyumba na tumeenda sherehe nyingine si watoke tu wakuja watu join we just have fun together akawapigia simu so tulipofika kuiva feed hata hakuingia na sisi alibaki kwa gari gari yangu ndio cousin zake wenye wanakuja wamlete nguo wasichana basa da, basa trend wasichana wako na outfits zenye wanaweza vaa wakienda sherehe na kuna zenye wanaweza vaa wakishinda wakifanya kazi zao wanipata so what happened tukaingia tumeingia mimi Kenodia na Jeff so tumeacha Faith ndongo Jeff 
hazina wake wawili alafu karis na yeye gari zilifuatana zote karis na yeye amekuja na nani na yule girlfriend ya nani eje tukaingia na tukakaa kukaa chini hata kumaliza dakika kama kama tatu karis washafika na nani na umsichana umsichana waje so wakakaa msichana hakuka na karis alikaa alirudi kukaa na jeff hapo hivyo haya then faith na wakaingia so jeff hawakuwa na hawakuwa na ungeleshana na huyu msichana hawakuwa in good terms yeah? na ikafika time jeff akani text tuko kwa meza akani text akaniandikia hey bro uh, unaweza ni save na 200 ama 500 sina pesa ina anisikia uh-huh. nika na kanitumia till number hapo chini mara mingi hizi ni vitu pia sisi tumepitia wakati mwingi eh, mwingine unapata uh, tulikuwa tunatumia till numbers juu hizo atakuwa nafuliza inaweza fanya nini eh, utatoa pesa yako kama unataka kutoa so akaniambia nimweke kwa till number so alinyomba 200 ama 500 nilimtumia kwa till number that was hiyo niliangalianga kwa simu it was 11 that people akiniambia hivyo nikamtumia 500 shillings and it's only that aliniambia niweke kwa till number uh, i'm sorry to say this uh, sina marafiki wenye wanaweza niomba pesa hiyo kiwango 200 shillings 500 shillings because i am not even used to going out with the age ya kina Jeff mimi naendanga na watu napata kwa hiyo meza they are 40s and 50s kwa hiyo meza mimi tu ndo nimesota kabisa nimekamna i am nime turn 27 april 25 uh-huh. so napenda kuji challenge na vitu mingi so hiyo day hata nilimhurumia sana hata hata nikumtumia 200 nilimtumia ikiwa 500 so after nimemtumia haikumaliza dakika kama sijui ngapi msichana yule mwenye alikuwa amebeba na karisi na wamekaa na yeye bataongei uh-huh. akakuja ya nani haga na niambia fatu mimi naenda home and scare so namuliza mbona unaenda home akina ndo sherehe inaanza you know saa hiyo sasa henesi shakuja we yani tunaendelea na sherehe sasa mimi hapa nimekaa hapa nimekaa na mwenye kuiba hapa na wazai wengine hapo unanipata haya na Douglas bado wako hapa na mimi so tu, tulitoka sisi wote tuliambia na tutoke sisi wote pale mm-hmm. nika so um msichana ameniambia nataka kwenda home na ni kunihaga mimi kama mimi hata sijiji na yake in fact because if, I, if even if, if i knew her name hata ninge provide hiyo jina hata kwa dc i don't know her name because i was not interested ni huyu ni msichana wa rafiki yangu so let them have their fun i have my own fun so what happened nikamwambia it's okay if you have to go na una insist tunasema kabi kwa hapa nje sawa basi enda so i thought ile pesa yenye sasa sando nikafikiria hiyo pesa maybe ni ya kulipia msichana nini kaba kienda nyumbani so the night continued the party continued mimi naendelea mimi hata kili yangu haiko huko siangali hata sina shughuli na to be very honest sikuwa na shughuli na hawa mimi niko na shughuli na hawa sasa juu hawa ndo unipatia kazi uh-huh. hawa kina kimani kuiba in the rest now nikaona even as even ina teremka he inakaa tutalewa sana juu na unaona tulikuwa tumekunywa kunywa nyingine na pale so what i did is i called my driver i told him uh, kuja kuiva ili unipeleke nyumbani mataimi yake juu naona penye tunakunywa hapo hivi sipendi ku drive nikiwa mlevi mara mingi but see at nishai drive nikiwa mlevi kitu yote inani happen here but ni ile tu you just cautious so my driver came but sasa alikuja na kazi yangu na ali take time sana before afike alikuja kitu around <clears> twoish <throat> huko na akakuja na kazi yangu but he knew very well sitamuuliza juu kukuja na kazi yangu ju it's normal for them to stay in my house all the time we always have so nation and deliver up no 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 okay most of the times utashtukia wako kwangu one i want to explain the reason as to why iko hivyo my driver tulikuwa tunasoma na high school ni wa kwetu place inaitwa engineer kinango mm-hmm. so one thing huyu ni mtu mwenye alinikujia maisha kiume mchapa sana 
So mtu ikifika extent anakuambia mimi hata chakula sina masawe na ni mtu tulisoma na yeye mimi niko ina position ya kumsaidia so nikimpatia kazi akaniambia mimi niko naendesha Uber but mambo ili ilienda vibani kaje okay i can just make him a driver hata niko nimekaa na like 3 months toka nimpatie kazi haya so huyo mtu ni mtu niko very sure hata kwake bado haja settle sana kuna wakati after nimemlipa sitaki kujua ataenda kukula nini juu nishamlipa lakini sasa kuna wakati mwingine unashtukia bado hata after umemlipa eh hey bro uko wapi uko kwa nyumba nikuje like a brother it's okay just come then talk of my cousin kazi yangu hata siko nimemaliza naye mwezi mmoja nilienda nyumbani kulikuwa na kazi is day eh kwetu engineer uh-huh. sasa huyu kijana akakuja na gita akakuja akaniambia alituma mamangu kwanza akaambia mamangu <coughs> si wetu wetu na fatso uh-huh. alipe kazi mimi naweza kuwa katendraiser wake kuna katendraiser anaimba mbele kabla mimi sasa niingie niimbe so yeye pia ni mimi ndo mwenye nimemtoa kwa ni nyahururu mimi ndo nimemtoa huko kwa mashambani nikamleta Nairobi akuje afanye hiyo kazi anataka ya katendraising so hawa watu have embraced them like my brothers so most of the time je mimi unapata mimi niko peke yangu kwa nyumba most of the times niko na wao so wakati mwingine niko na huko kazini yangu sana sana juu na ananifunza chords fulani za gita na mimi namfunza kucheza accordion yeah sasa kukuja kwangu haikuwa ni shida so venye driver wangu alikuja na kazini yangu alijua sitamuuliza na ni kweli sikumuuliza but sasa nilimwambia ujue sijui mtaenda aje nyumbani juu ready sisi kwa meza tuko mimi Jeff Faith Mutalu na kazini wake wangapi wawili so already gari imeja so nikamwambia ungekuwa peke yako hata tungeshikana basa hili mko wawili so hiyo hata nikaachia hapo nasikia masawe sasa time ikafika ni time ya kwenda nyumbani mimi usiku nililala nikicheza pool sana nacheza pool na rudi kwa meza wao hadi sasa wao walikula na wakakunya walikula kuku na wakakunywa so i cleared the bill at around call it three something yeah and then uh faith like i told you faith and i share for example anaishi mahali panito park university park university na kwangu is like two minutes or three minutes drive mm-hmm. so i told them i'll drive you home of course inaeleweka ju tunaenda njia moja ukiingilia safari park so it is easy for me to drop them and then yeah. get back kwa nyumba mm-hmm. now about jeff Jeff we were supposed to wake up the following day like I told you from the word go. We were supposed to wake up twende tukanunue vitu. So what we had agreed with him in between those party modes aliamka akakuja penye niko. He himself akakuja penye niko he told me that kwa masikio yangu. So bro I think mimi hataweza kosa kushuka mtaa na kan tashuka ntashuka late ah uh, ju tuko na kazi yetu na raukia. So me I insisted on mimi naona mimi nishaita driver ni meter driver journey ni gear safety so for me ni, ni, mimi hata sikumwambia but for me i knew i'll go with him kwa nyumba ye alale ndo turauke jumi sisi taka you see ukienda na mtu kwako masawe inamaanisha you mm-hmm. caring mm-hmm. ni mgeni wako i'm i'm caring because the reason i called the driver wangu ni bebe ni sababu mimi mwenyewe na hofu ya kufanya nini na hofu ya kupata kiti yote kwa barabara yeye na yeye nitamwachiliaje na anaenda kimbo like i told you mm. anaenda kimbo wacha nikatize kidogo kuna yes. ujumbe hapo naingia kutoka kwa Aida Mwangi anasema photo story za jaba your cousin was live the same day kissing some boys oh god that's not my cousin si wamtoe na wamlete hapa that's not my cousin uh-huh. yes it's not my cousin okay Uh, the boy has practiced the story well zile lika stories imejaa akiambu hakuna moja kuna Hennessy cha kuna moja kuna Hennessy okay ni ni ni, ni wasilizaji yes. okay so t- first forward kwa sababu ya muda tumefika nyumbani sawa yes uh, ina maana kwamba uh, Jeff alilala kwako kwa nyumba sasa ndo hapa tunaelekea kwenye uh-huh. ni cruise mm. tukaenda kwa nyumba but sasa tukienda elewa nilikuwa niende ni drop fail mutano 
na ni drop hao wasichana wengine ndo sasa tuendelee kwa nyumba hivi kazi yangu na driver wangu watufuate na Uber juao pia alikuwa anasema wakonja wenye walikula ni hawa kazi yangu na driver wakikuja walikaa meza kando so hawakukula wakati waliniambia nataka kula kwiva nikawaambia mtakula twendeni hata mimi sikukula nitakula kwa nyumba na nipata sasa tukienda nikaambia feed mutano like i told you feed was doing deliveries for me za viatu nikamwambia juu nimehamia mahali pengine penye hata hujui na wewe unashinda kunitafuta kwa mikutano zangu kama ni kwa mkutano mahali faida na kuja kuniletea viatu na vitu so nikamwambia twende nikuonyeshe mahali kwa gate penye utakuwa unaachia soja sana na usiku sasa ni kitu saa hata si saa nane hiyo ni past mm. ni saa tisa na madakika 3 am why 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 kwenda kumuonyesha yeah because that's the only chance you already drunk because that's the only chance mm-hmm. yenye nimepata ya kuweka na fee mimi sije kunywa meza moja na fee mm-hmm. sije atujai patana kwa avenue za nje ya biashara akiniletea delivery na mara mingi kuna wakati hata nakanga na delivery zangu eh, over over four, four days inamaliza hata one week na ni kitu maybe nilikuwa nahitaji jumi nimeenda meetings nimeenda hivi mara na nipige niko Kiamburu niko Mombasa road so mm-hmm. i knew that was the right time yangu kufanya hivyo Okay. So we went to the gate na nikamuonyesha. Baada ya kumuonyesha kuna kazi yake ilikuwa hapo akasema anataka kwenda washroom. Na nipata. Na mimi nikamwambia ni sawa hata tunaweza ingia tukipiga double then to talk and ni wardrobe. When is here? When did you call your driver? I called him to ask for him to drive me home. So why are you driving yourself? Because he came with my cousin and we couldn't have fit in the car as seven people okay. so i told them to come to take an uber mm-hmm. and follow us okay that's the reason mm-hmm. so we proceeded to the house okay so uh, kazi na menda kwa bathroom baada ya bathroom kapiga shot nani amenda kwa bathroom eh, ya kazi mutano, ya, ya kazi, mutano. Ni kazi ni ya mutano was pressed yes Akasi, so si tumepanda tumeingia kwa nyumba mm-hmm. sasa so, so after tumeingia kwa nyumba ndio mimi huyu nikauliza mnataka nini kazi na menda kwa Oshum. There is a video that was circulating yenye Jeff had record. Hiyo video ta kirekodi Jeff hakuna kitu alikuwa anafanya bila kuniambia. Aliniambia acha ni record niambie mama tumefika tuko kwako. He recorded that na mimi nilikuwa kwa simu na mtu mwingine nikimuelezea njia ya place alikuwa anaenda na nikimwambia venye ata access. Sasa na wando unaonaka kwa hiyo video unaona wasichana wangapi? Wawili. Na kuna msichana mmoja walikuwa watatu. So kuna msichana mmoja mwenye hayuko. Sasa tumeingia wao wakasema wanataka maji nikawapa maji. Huyu kazi mmoja wa wa Faid akasema aka, aliona shisha bom kwa nyumba. Akasema hii uko na bom. Mimi napenda kuasha shisha sana. Akaenda akaanza kuasha nini shisha. Mimi na mimi nikachukua gitaa. Tukaanza kucheza muziki tunaimba. Sasa hiyo ni unaona nikaa sherehe inaendelea. Masawe. Mm-hmm. Dakika kidogo kazi yangu na driver wangu akakuwa shafika na wakaingia kwa nyumba. Baada ya kufika kazi yangu cheza gitaa like I told you kuna wakati he's actually perfect in guitar than I am. So nikampatia gitaa wecheza. Sasa hawa baada ya kuwapa maji Jeff alisema anataka anataka hapendi whisky that is the word yenye alitumia. I didn't expect him akwe maybe anaweza differentiate cognac na whisky. Akasema mimi sipendi whisky na naona uko na gin hapo nipatie gin. Kulikuwa na tankari ya fungulio na kuna tonic. Ni mgeni wangu ya ameitisha mimi ukija kwangu na kuuliza unataka nini sikulazimishi wasichana walisema wanataka maji nikawapa kila mtu glasi ya maji kijana akasema anataka gin nikampatia gin tankari yenye jafunguliwa na nikampatia tonic then nikamwambia ah juni kwangu wewe tutatos na wewe mimi sitakunywa maji na wengi akaeka nikakunywa na yeye akakunywa so mimi juu ya venye hiyo ku mix ah yeye yeah, think hakuwa na kunywa sana because mimi after after nimepiga hiyo yangu mi nilizima kwa kiti nililala kwa kiti after nimelala kwa kiti ile nasinzia nimeacha hawa sawa hapi sasa hizi roughly roughly for 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 that is for for moja asubuhi yes okay sasa mimi nimesinzia wapi hapo ile tu na unajiekelea tu kwa kiti kando yangu ni faith kuna msichana mwingine okay, kando yangu ni faith oh nadhani niko nyumbani pole <laughs> so kando yangu ni faith uh, kazi ni yake kazi ni yake mwingine eh, driver wangu Chris ako amekadia kiti hapo juu na Jeff ako hapa kando so Jeff hata anajifunza mogidi hapo ana he's really enjoying me nime, mi nimelala nilishtukia na tapio tapio foto foto nani mwenye ni tap it's faith mutano mm. faith mutano was supposed to do deliveries in the morning she kept on telling me that even time to kwa club actually the reason is that ni tokanga mapema sana ni juu ya hivyo ni juu anafaa kwenda kufanya deliveries so 
That's the reason story we couldn't have. Tukitoko klabu hatu kwa mbiana tuende tuendeleze sherehe. Ni tuende ni waike ju anafaindi ya kapanya delivery in kesho. So, ananitap na amka na pata a, a green up kwa simu. Green up inamanisha bolt. Asha itisha bolt, anataka kwenda nyumbani. Nika mwambia faith. Sao na wando wame niyamsha. Hey faith, hey siyezi rusu, siyezi kubali ujipeleke na nimi mwenye niliwaleta na huku. E, e, our initial deal ilikuwa mimi ni wapeleke wapi kwa nyumba then tena ti muinkai kwa stingine ya uba apana let me take you so I walked out with them the three ladies bado mwacha jeff kwa nyumba Nima, sasa hapo ndo ni mwacha kwa anacheza mugidi anajibamba he is happy he is having fun my driver is smoking shisha my cousin is playing guitar for jeff jeff is trying to sing mugidi because ni wale vijana ni wakikuyu but ni ni mtu uptown so hajui hata kikuyu vizuri so anajaribu kuimba hata mwingine anajaribu hata kukumbuka kaka moja word moja ya mwingine mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. so he is really happy he is really having fun ndio mimi huyu nikapeleka wasichana baada ya kupeleka wasichana nikajiambia masawe kama nilivyokuambia tukio kwa klabu mimi sikukula wengine wa kikula nikasema acha niende pale Lumumba drive juni Lumumba after nimeingia park university kuweka wasichana niliweka in like 5 minutes at most so nilitoka kwa nyumba kitu 447 haya nikatoka nikaenda nikawaeka by 452 or four something nilikuwa nilikuwa nishafika kwa hiyo nyumba yao kwa gate nikawa drop na mimi nika, nikaendelea nikaenda pale pana ito Lumumba drive ninunue sausages na mandazi jumi ni konjaa ndio niende ni kule kwa nyumba uh-huh. wanisikia masaa niende ni kule na tukule na wale wengine wenye wako kwa nyumba wenye walisema pia wa konjaa uh-huh. so penye nilipark hivi Lumumba drive where i parked i parked it around call it 5 maybe 5 something uh-huh. the time that i can't you know Uh, I think I was quite high that day because I slept immediately where I parked I slept nilizima na nililala niliamshwa na jua masawe jua inachoma gari kwa kio hiyo ndio niliniamsha naamka so I know I know it's quite funny nine in the morning I know it's quite funny hiyo kitu nikikwambia hivyo but that's my trend mimi kuna watu wengine wakilewa mimi uimba nasema kuna wengine wakilewa wanatoa nguo kuna wengine wakilewa wanalala mimi i am a sleepy head my friends know that wengine hawezi jua but marafiki wangu wote wanajua so i slept nilijisikia saa tatu. kuamka after nimejisikia na nijui ilikuwa inanichoma ndio mimi huyu ina face bado kwa ndani gari nishawa drop masaa okay, okay. niliwa drop mapema kule 5 uh-huh. nilishawaeka uh-huh. so i slept kwa gari na nilikuwa nakuja kununua mandazi na sausages nipeleke kwa nyumba kwa hoteli kwa tu hapo ni si mara yangu kwanza nimenunua hapo so nimezima before hata nitoke nimeamsha na juu kichwa magari yangu ndo mimi huyu sasa napata gari hata bado iko on ina guruma mata iko on nikasema he hii ni ile unasikia na walk of shame sisi toka kwanza kununua mandazi saa hizi na najulikana gia hata sikugurumisha jilikuwa ina guruma nikaenda kwa nyumba but nikienda nilichukua simu yangu ilikuwa imeanguka hapa kumaanisha nilikuwa nimesinzia maybe hata nilikuwa nimeshika kwa mkono ilikuwa imeanguka kwa flow the only thing i checked ilikuwa missed calls ilikuwa na missed calls mingi ikiwemo za wale wenye walikuwa kwa nyumba kazi yangu na driver yangu haya nikiingia kwa redu departments sasa hapa narudi kitu ni 905 nikifika hapo redu ndo mimi huyu naona askari huko maskari wengi wako nje kwa mlango okay akili yangu inaniuliza mm, askari wanafanya nini huko so mi naenda hata na napiga taa hivi ati niingie sasa kwa, kwa gate main gate na taramsha kio kuna askari walikuwa hapo na nawajukia na uliza haya afande nimesema mtushikie kwetu leo unasikia ile on a personal level mimi okay unapatanga watu maybe kuko na jina mwingine naye kwa kwa sheria uh, kuna venye mnaweza you can just say a word to each other atakaa sikusalimiana so niliwajukia hivyo wakacheka mi naona si jia zani kunaendelea. Then soja hapo nifungulia gate ya kuingia. Elewa sasa hizi ni kitu 905 ya. Yeah? Akatoka nje kukuja kuniongelesha. Ananiambia hey, bosi lazima uandike. Nikamuuliza, niandike nini? Yaani unataka kuwa simu nijui? Akaniambia pana, kuna mtu alijirusha kutoka 12th floor. Sasa tunaandika mtu yote mwenye anaingia na mwenye anatoka. He kusikia hivyo nikamwambia sawa ninaandika saa hizi nileteka ratasi niandike akafungua gate nikaingia hapo 
akafunga akaniletea book i wrote my name and the time yenye nimeingia kwa apartment nikasema juu mimi na parking first floor sana acha nisipark first floor nione ni nani mwenye huyo amejengusha kutoka 12th floor redwood mimi sijakaa miezi hiyo apartment sijakaa miezi imepita miezi tatu hiyo wakati sasa we are talking of feb kufikia feb siko nimekaa miezi tatu so i i don't even know anyone in that whole apartment an apartment ni kuna watu over mia kitu because ni apartment kuna privacy sana juu hata floor yangu mimi ni 10th floor sijai ona hata neighbor yangu sijai toka nje napatana na neighbor wangu na kuna nyumba nane hiyo floor so unapata uh, nimeambiwa kuna mtu amejiangusha kutoka 12th floor na ishi 10th floor ama wika from 12th floor how is that that makes sense ati unasema kuna mtu alijirusha kutoka 12th floor so you know you know na, na soja watch soja yes na wewe unaishi 10th floor yes mbona sielewi hapo sasa unaona yeye ameniambia Okay. Yeye ameniambia kama venye nimemuuliza. Ni mbona unakataa niingie? Si yeye ndo yeye hata ndo mimi sijamuuliza ni flow gani yeye ndo amerusha mdomo kuniambia kuna mtu amejirusha kutoka 12th floor. Okay. Mm-hmm. So mimi nikaingia. So unaona already kuambiwa tao ukiingia kwa nyumba kulikuwa na kina nani? Siko nimeingia kwanza sasa hivi mm-hmm. naelekea kwa nyumba. Mm-hmm. Nikaenda nikapark pale hivyo chini. After nimepark mwili mwili ilikuwa mahali hapa hivi. Unaona? mahali kama pale na mimi nimepaka hapa so nashuka ndo niende gate iko pale so kuna pila there, there are pillars za buildings zenye watu kupaka mm. so unaona tu kichwa samo ya hapa hivi pata huku kando kuna nyama nyama zimetapaka mhm unanipata so i can assure you the pillar imenizuia kuona hata hata the body itself naona tu nywele kidogo hapa tu yenye kichwa imetokea samo ya hapo so mimi natembea na una nyama nyama zinatapaka akina shuyu hata sikuweza kuangalia hiyo mwili mimi naogopa sana in fact mwili yenye tulishaingia kuona hata kwa moja ni nyanyangu toka nizaliwe mm-hmm. sasa ndio mimi huyu naangalia siku yaangalia hivi and even the cctv footage can show i held my head like this hadi naangalia unaona ile unachungulia hutaki kuona yes you are anxious kuona but hutaki kuona na one thing yenye nataka uelewe ni nishaambiwa pale mtu amejitupa kutoka 12th floor at least hata ningejua ni 10th floor ningekuwa ninajua huyu mtu wa floor yetu acha nione ni nani inaweza kuwa ni nani maybe tushaipatana kwa lift sasa mimi sijui mtu yote but nishaambiwa mtu sasa the only thing i saw kwa hiyo mwili i can assure you niliona kichwa imetokana imetokana hii part then nikaona mtu hana hana suruali So I I just held my head nikiendaga juu si kitu naweza I couldn't have stared at it mimi sijaiweza kuangalia hata nipate gari zimepata accident kwa barabara sijaiweza kusimama ati niangalie ati watu wenye wameumia siezi provided na una damu or anything okay. I fear yeah, yeah. I went mm-hmm. to the house mm-hmm. but nikipita hapo askari nao wamekalia Land Rover yao ready to correct nini hii mwili sasa waende nayo So mi nikaenda kwa nyumba. But nikipita hapo nikajishika kichwa, yani before niende kwa 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 gate, nikasema oh god. What the hell? Why should a person do this to themselves? Unaona venye yani ah askari wako na reaction yangu, wakabaki wakicheka. So nikaenda kwa nyumba. Kwenda kwa nyumba nikafungua mlango. Nikaingia. Kufungua tu hivi, kazini yangu na driver yangu wali waligutuka kwa kiti. Wote wawili hivi wanaangalia kwa mlango. Wamelala kwa kiti, driver amelala hapa kazi yangu the, the city is a nail set so the cousin is here the driver is here so wanagutuka wanaangalia kwa mlango nikafunga mlango nikaanzia kuwapelea story wapi hapo wewe uko chini hebu endeni muone kuna mtu mwenye amejiangusha lakini mimi nashuku ameangushwa these are the exact what i told them mm-hmm. nashuku ametupwa na au manager wanaishingi huku juu sababu hana trouser maybe amepata kwa demi ya wenyewe mm-hmm amepata na demia wenyewe sasa akatupwa unanipata juu nimeambiwa umetupwa toka 12th floor hawa nao wanaona kama ni mjinga nawaambia i am very serious naizaje wachezea na kifo yani hawaniamini nikiwaambi hivyo so nikaona hapo hivyo kuna gedheri yenye wame wamekaanga elewa pia walisema uko nje so kuna gedheri nilikuwa nimeleta na mamangu kuna gedheri anyway sasa hizi unajua tunaongelea saa tatu. Wao wao unajoa hawakuwa na kunywa. Yeah, yeah wao hawakuwa na kunywa. Okay. Wao wakiingia mm-hmm. kwa club walichukua Del Monte. So this is my driver. So she expect to kunywa. Na mimi nimekunywa. So wow, there was a reason for them to do the gedheri. 
juu hawajakunywa so naona walitengeneza na wakakula wamebakisha it's okay, so, okay, don't so okay. 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 i ain't defending them mm-hmm. i just told them eh, ni pe wakani ni wamie gedheri so akienda kuniwamia driver wangu driver wangu ni chef alikuwa na amesoma hizo vitu basa kwa sakazi so yeye ndo at this pika. point umeingia kazini yako driver wako yes. ni mtu wangu sasa hapa ndo penye nilimuulizia after ni, unaona kwanza mimi nimepeana story mm. nimeingia na mshangao ya kenye nimepata hiyo ndo mm. story yenye napeana so after nimefik after sasa nimewaambia hivyo na nimeona wao hawaamini nikamwambia ni kege theri ni kule je niko nja then niende nilale then I, come, I just asked a general question eh na kijana yako wapi sasa kijana ni je mm. nipata akasema alilewa sana akaenda kulala oh that's okay mm-hmm. amelala wapi of course amelala guest room mm-hmm. so mimi sikushindania na kitu kingine so nikikula niki ile gedheri na kula nikiogopa nikiwaambia msinikumbushe hiki kitu yenye nimewaambia nimepata chini ili niweze kumaliza in fact sikuweza kukula nikaipeleka kwa sink then nikaenda kulala nikienda kulala nikaacha nimeambia hawa kazi yangu na driver yangu na mniamshe saa sita na fuck na studio I was supposed to go for a studio at a studio called Studio 56 mm-hmm. at 12 noon. Mm-hmm. So nikaenda sasa naenda kulala kitu sa sane. Sane am am chana sasa. In fact, I even called I called my girlfriend kumwambia kenye nimepata sasa nikiwa kwa bed before nilale. I called her and told her kenye nimepata huko chini. So I slept. Mimi nikalala kulala masawe nimelala nimejisikia 14 14 elewa nimeangalia saa manake nilikuwa nafaa kwenda studio saa sita so the first thing ile niliangalia ni ukiamka unamkanga hey huenda nimechelewa nikaangalia naona ni saa 8 na dakika 14 kwa hivyo nimelala over 4 hours so nikavaa nika nikaona ah stamika kwenda studio acha tu ni jibu jibu hizi calls messages kwa kitanda tu karibu ifike 3 hapo nikashawa after kushawa nikavaa mavazi yangu iko kwa room yangu hiyo bedroom yangu master bedroom so viatu maishura iko kwa bedroom ya wageni walipata so after nimevaa nikaingia kwa hii room nyingine ili nichukue kiatu nikachukua viatu zenye nafani vae on other days i put the shoes down i sit on the guest room's bed and put them on juzi na kuanga safi natoka nikitoka Sasa naenda kuvalia kwa mlango. Sasa this day it was a special day because after picking the shoes I just saw the the bed is not made. Mm-hmm. So I knew the the guy is up. So let me just go to the sitting room and welcome him. And know about my unaona the hospitality ya mgeni wako mwenye ajali lala kwako tena. Unanipata? Nimuulize, "Eh hey, umelalaje huku kwetu?" Mhm. Unanipata na ni mwana. Nikaenda sitting room nikapata driver wangu na kazi yangu nikawapata hapo siti ndio nikauliza kwani mliacha kijana aende na kuna kazi tunaenda kufanya wanisikia the same same what jamaa kaniambia my driver is the one who said mi fatu na shuku ukijana alienda asubuhi mapema sana na kazi yangu akarusha mdomo akasema no haizi kwa alienda asubuhi mapema sana na mimi nimecheza gita hadi 8 nikingoja fatu unasikia tupate habari tutakaporudi yaone tutakuwa tunamalizia tujue Okay. Kuli ndaje ilikuwaje na pengine pia labda tu, tupate fursa kuweza kuzungumza na mama ke Jeff sina shida ushawahi kuzungumzia mamangu alipigia samido mm-hmm. akawa akamuomba waturuhusu twende mazishi mm-hmm. waturuhusu twende tujuane na familia mm-hmm. manake hiyo mambo yote iko imetokea online wakati so mama kapigia samido akamwambia please Juleo kifo inaonekana huku na kesho ni kwetu na hao watu walikuwa marafiki. Kwa nini muombe ruhusa kwenda mazishi? Sababu mm. na tayari bado ilikuwa block, block, kwa media unaelewa mm. toka kwa police station mm-hmm. they were blocking me from seeing the family. Okay. Are you getting me? Wewe mwenyewe baada ya haya yote ambayo yanaendelea ushawahi chukua simu yako ukainua ukampigia mama. Mama ke Jeff. Hata sina namba ya mama Jeff but what i can say is yeah lakini kuipata ni rahisi maana ni kazi yake samido no. yeah so getting the number yes. will not be difficult i know it's not going to be mama, difficult but uh, what i can say is mm-hmm. uh, masawe ile ile uchungu yenye nimepitishwa hao watu to them wash up make decision they have already made their mind that i killed their son so believe me or not masawe it's very hard for me i wish acha hiyo simu yenye unapiga i wish ni zile shoes zenye zinafanyango inakuwa ni surprise mama jeff akae hapo 
niongee na yeye na tuangaliane kwa macho nimwambie Kenya namwambia nimwambie hadithi yangu na niangalia kio na namdanganya aseme ni sawa basi mimi niliyo mtoto wake lakini sijaipata hiyo chance na sijaipata hizo guts za kupigia maana yake history ilienda sana ilienda na ikaenda zaidi ati nasemekana mimi nimeua mtoto wao so imeacha kuonekana ile side nzuri ya nilitaka kusaidia mtoto wako kumpatia kazi sasa inaonekana mimi ni kama mimi ni muuaji so kusema ukweli sijaipata hata mimi mwenyewe sijapata wakati wa kuheal niweze kumpigia mama je ndio tuweze kuzungumza maana yake saizi pia yeye bado najua yuko na machungu na makali yenye anajiambia na ama anafikiria mimi niliyo mtoto wake okay yes